Hi, FTC teams. In part two of our Autonomous Exposed series, we're going to talk about knocking off the jewel. The first thing to do is switch the op mode from teleop to autonomous. As we mentioned, our jewel mechanism has two servos, a pan and a tilt. They're not continuous servos, but rather they're normal rev servos. The first thing we have to do is initialize them. We're going to set pan to 0.5 and tilt to 1. However, since we have a lot of servos initialized, it might be easier to make a function for this. We're going to drag these two blocks down, but keep in mind that when you drag down blocks, everything below them move too, so we have to separate the top two blocks. We're now going to go to the functions menu on the left hand side and make a function called init servo. We're also going to initialize the rest of our servos in this step, and we'll add this to our main op mode under the blue block that says put initialization blocks here. Now we're going to move our servo, but because we do this many times, we're going to make a function for this. We're going to add two inputs by clicking the settings icon on the top left, and we're going to call these pan and tilt. We'll set the servo positions to these variables by going to the variables menu on the left hand side. You'll see that before adding this to our run op mode block, we delete the while loop. This loop is not used during an autonomous program. Now we add move jewel to our op mode with pan set to 0.5 and tilt to 0.24. When we move our servo, sometimes it'll bounce, so we have to add a sleep for 2 seconds, or 2000 milliseconds, to make sure our servo is where we want it to be. We're going to now write a function to determine what color the jewel is. Usually, color sensors return values in red, green, blue, or RGB, but we have found that using HSV, or hue saturation value, is much more reliable. If you want to learn more about this, there are plenty of really awesome online resources, but all you have to know for this video is that we're using the hue, which is the base color on the color wheel. Keep in mind that there are two places to get blocks about the color sensor. One is utilities, and the other is under the rep color sensor. We now have to rename our variable. We're going to get the color variable from the variables menu on the left. We're going to right click it and we're going to rename it to hue. Once we get the hue, we have to determine if it's red or blue and knock the jewel off. We're going to make a function for this called knock jewel. The first thing to do is set the hue variable to return hue because that's what the hue of the jewel is. The next thing we have to do is move the servo arm to knock off the jewel. In order to not hit the jewel on the crypto box, we're going to make the servo move slower and more smoothly. We have to make a new variable called servo increment, which is the base amount by which we move our arm. So now we're going to write the if statement to figure out if it's red or blue. We're going to get an if, do, else if, do, else block from the logic menu, and we're going to check to see if the hue of the jewel is between 150 and 225. This means that it's blue. When the jewel is blue, we're going to add a while loop that runs while the op mode is active, and the servo increment variable has to be less than 0.3. We're going to decrease the increment by 0.1, and we'll set the jewel pan position to whatever the new increment is. We have to add a sleep after the servo movement for 20 milliseconds. We're going to keep changing the pan position until the increment is greater than or equal to 0.3. We'll copy this for the red jewel, but we have to change a few things. The hue range in the if condition has to be greater than or equal to 340, or less than or equal to 30. We also have to change the while loop such that the servo increment is less than 0.7, and we'll increase the increment by 0.1 instead of decreasing it. We're going to leave the else clause blank so that we do nothing if we don't know what color the jewel is. And we're going to add the knock jewel function to our main op mode. And there you have it! That's our cut for knocking off the correct jewel every single time. Be sure to check out the next videos in the series. Thanks for watching!